Hello, and welcome to another Imagine It Tech Tip video. In this video, I will show how to create a dynamic surface of a slab top that maintains an offset to a surface, a slab bottom that maintains its elevation to the terrain with grade breaks, and we'll tie it all together using the AutoCAD group command. Let's jump right on in. In this drawing, I have a basic AutoCAD polyline with elevations, which are really set at zero. What I'm going to do here is create, uh, this is going to really show off the top of pad and uh, we'll show the bottom of pad. Let's use the standard offset command just to create a small gap here. Select the object and now it's towards the, the outside here. We have a, a small gap representing what would be the top and bottom. They are simple AutoCAD polylines. I will generate feature lines here next and uh, we'll start with the feature line command from objects. We'll select the top of my pad here and I will have them be sightless. I will give it a name here. This is going to be top. I can add a style if I want to just to show how pretty it can be. And I will be assigning elevations here. In this case, I would like to look at the surface and maintain, let's say, a half foot offset from the surface. Just so it really pops. So I hit OK. It turned it for me. You can see how it's now at the surface. I'll do it again for the bottom of pad here from the objects. Select my feature line here. Give it a stylization. This is going to be my bottom of pad, bottom of pad. And I will also assign elevations here. And what I would like to do is maintain the intermediate grade break so it's really on the terrain with a zero offset. As you can see, if you blinked, you missed it. In plan view, really not much change. But in 3D, you can see how I have set my elevations. This is what I will use to drive a surface. If I go to my prospector tab, I already have a surface for my building pad here. And I will use these as break lines. I would add both of them. And select them here on my screen. And as I hit enter, you can see how that slab was created there for me. Now to tie this together, I will use a standard AutoCAD group command. Group instead of here. And I will group both of these lines, line one and line two. And now the group together. Now the cool thing here is I start moving this around, my surface will update. I have set my surface to rebuild itself automatically. So as I find a new location for my pad, here I can select the one object and relocate it on my screen. It will maintain that offset, reading the terrain consistently for a bottom and consistently for the top. An easy way of trying to figure out where I want to put my grading pads on my site and maintaining a dynamic behavior within Civil 3D. Simple workflow here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to visit our website for more Autodesk related content on engineering and design.